Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today, I want to show you how to update your Wi-Fi details on a SunGrow solar inverter. Now, this is important if you've changed your uh, network details. Say you've got NBN come on on your property and you've got a new modem and you need to update the Wi-Fi details so the inverter can be connected again to the internet. So a couple of things that you're going to need for this process is your Wi-Fi network's name and the password for it, and also a tablet or a smartphone that you can connect to the inverter through the SunGrow app. So we've got a tablet here and we've got the iSolar Cloud SunGrow app. So if you haven't got that, you're going to need to download that. And so we're just going to go into that. And you should have your account already set up if, you've, if you're just wanting to update the Wi-Fi network. Now what we want to do in the bottom right hand corner, we've got a little more symbol. We want to press on that. And we want to go through to where it says WLAN configuration, the second option there. And here it's going to ask us to connect our tablet or smartphone to the Wi-Fi network put out by the Sungo Inverter. So you're just going to go to your device's settings and make sure Wi-Fi is turned on and then find the Sungro network if it's there. At the moment ours isn't there so I'm just going to turn off Wi-Fi and try restarting it again to see if it turns up this time. There we go, the Sungro network there. Now sometimes the SunGrow network will have no password and let you connect just like ours is right then. Sometimes though, the SunGrow network will require a password, which is the serial number off the side of the Wi-Fi dongle, which is just underneath the inverter. Once we've got it connected to the SunGrow network, what we then need to do is go back to the iSolar Cloud app. And there you can see it's already connected to the Wi-Fi network there, so we just press next, we've got a nice green tick. And then we want to, it's going to search for our network. And you can see here we've got the Vodafone one, we're just going to click on that. And then you need to enter your password. So just grab that password there and enter it in. And press confirm on that. And now it's going to try and connect to your home network. Okay, so we've got a successful message there. We just press next and we've got to tick beside our network that we've connected to. And there you see it's uh, inverter successfully connected to the home router. And press complete. And that's it, quite simple. Okay, so down below the inverter we have the SunGrow Wi-Fi dongle. And you can see on this one, it's got the blue run light on and the green comm light is on constant. That means it's now connected to our Wi-Fi network correctly. And in a few minutes, this orange net light should come on. The orange net light means it's actually connected to SunGrow's servers and uh, sending data straight to their servers. And as I mentioned before, sometimes when connecting to the SunGrow Wi-Fi network, it may ask for a password. If it does, that password is going to be the number on the side here. So not the V312, but the number starting with the B19. That's going to be the password, that number there. So hope that helps you out. So if you're on the Gold Coast of South East Queensland and you need any assistance with a SunGrow solar inverter, don't hesitate to get in touch with Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We can certainly help. If you're somewhere else in the world, I recommend get in touch with a local solar accredited electrician who can assist you further. Thanks very much for watching this video.